Assalamualaikum students. Today we are going to start a very common and basic topic of microbiology that is structure of bacteria. Students, it's a very simple uh, topic and I don't know why you people confuse the structure of bacteria uh, or intermingle it. Okay, we start with the structure of bacteria. Now concentrate please. Structure of bacteria. Students, the structure of bacteria can be divided into three components. We start from the internal side and we move towards the outer one. That is, number one is inner structures G students number one component of bacterial structure inner structures inner structures may students con con se structures a jate hamare paas mainly cytoplasm okay number two ribosomes number third nucleoid nucleoid number fourth plasmids okay students these are four basic internal structures which are present in the bacteria now we start with cytoplasm students cytoplasm is the gel like component of the bacterial cell and it contains mainly the vitamins ions different nutrients derivatives of proteins lipids and carbohydrates and other structures students the basic purpose of cytoplasm is to provide nutrients for the growth of the bacterial cell and number two to give strength to the internal organs internal structures sorry which are present inside the cytoplasm yes number two ribosomes students ribosomes are the main protein synthesis sites of the bacterial cell ribosomes wo jage hai jahan par bacterial cell ki proteins synthesize hoti hai students g number third okay regarding ribosomes main ek aapko baat especially viva point of view se main ye bata do students books mein jo likha hota hai students rat ke wohi bata dete hain ki bacterial ribosomes are 70s in nature <coughs> bacterial cells they contain 70s ribosomes now 70s is the sedimentation rate or <coughs> sedimentation velocity of the ribosomes and s is for swebberg unit <coughs> g students <coughs> nucleoid nucleoid is the genetic material or simply you can say the dna material of the bacterial cell which is located in the cytoplasm students bacteria are actually prokaryotes prokaryotes hum kin ko kehte hain prokaryotes hum un microorganisms ko kehte hain jin ka well defined nucleus nahi hota nuclear 
न्यूक्लियर मटीरियल सराउंडेड बाय अ डेफिनेट वॉल नहीं होता प्रोकेरियोस में सिमिलर इज द केस विद विद बैक्टीरियल सेल द डीएनए मटीरियल ऑफ ए बैक्टीरियल सेल इज फ्लोटिंग इन द साइटोप्लाजम विदाउट एनी डेफिनेट वॉल ओके नाउ द प्लाज्मेट्स स्टूडेंट्स प्लाज्मेट्स दे आर इन सिंपल वर्ड्स एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोसोमल डीएनए डीएनए विच इज not located on the bacterial chromosomes and these plasmids students they are responsible for virulence of the bacteria for antibiotic resistance okay why they act so because plasmids they code or they carry out the genes which are responsible for antibiotic resistance or genes which are responsible for virulence of the bacteria ab students virulence kise kahenge hum in very simple words bacteria ki बीमार करने की सलाहियत को विरुलेंस कहा जाता है डिजीज कॉजिंग एबिलिटी ऑफ ए बैक्टीरियल सेल इज कॉल्ड विरुलेंस ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ राइबोसोम्स एंड प्लाज्मिट्स दीज टू स्ट्रक्चर्स दे आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर virulence of a bacterial cell inside the host okay students now we proceed to the <clears throat> after internal structures students we proceed towards envelope bacterial cell envelope students this second component of bacterial structure it contains cell membrane or plasma membrane number 2 periplasmic space periplasmic space number 3 cell wall okay students now plasma membrane students plasma membrane it actually surrounds the cytoplasm of the bacterial cell it gives strength and integrity to the cytoplasm number 2 this plasma membrane is responsible for in and out movement of ions and other molecules in and out of the cytoplasm number 2 periplasmic space students periplasmic space is the space between plasma membrane and cell wall third component cell wall students cell wall of the bacteria is composed of peptidoglycans plasma membrane is phospholipid bilayer while on the other hand cell wall is composed of peptidoglycans and students it is this peptidoglycans which helps us 
in differentiating the world of bacteria into gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria gram positive bacteria hum kin ko kehte hain un bacterial cells ko gram positive kehte hain jin mein peptidoglycans ki motai zyada hoti hai peptidoglycans थिक होते हैं बाई लेयर्ड होते हैं मल्टी लेयर्ड होते हैं स्टूडेंट्स ग्रैम पॉजिटिव बैक्टीरिया में और यही वजह है कि जब हम ग्रैम स्टेनिंग प्रोसीजर करते हैं तो ग्रैम पॉजिटिव बैक्टीरिया दे रेजिस्ट डी कलराइजेशन बाय एसिड अल्कोहल क्यों रेजिस्ट करते बिकॉज ऑफ मल्टी लेयर एंड थिक कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ पेप्टाइडोग्लाइकेन ऑन दी अदर हैंड ग्रैम नेगेटिव बैक्टीरिया स्टूडेंट्स दे कंटेन्स स्मॉल अमाउंट और सिंगल लेयर ऑफ पेप्टाइडोग्लाइकेन एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थिन वॉल्ड पेप्टाइडोग्लाइकेन स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ पेप्टाइडोग्लाइकेन that gram negative bacteria are easily decolorized during gram staining procedure okay ye hamara student second component ho gaya bacterial structure ka now we move to the third component third component of bacterial cell is outermost outermost स्टूडेंट्स आउटर मोस्ट में हमारे पास क्या क्या स्ट्रक्चर्स है मेनली पाइली नंबर टू फ्लैजिल ओके नो पाइली पाइली क्या है स्टूडेंट्स इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स पाइली आर एक्चुअली एक्सटेंशंस ऑफ द प्लाज्मिट्स हमने पढ़ा था साइटोप्लाज्म में जो प्लाज्मिट्स मौजूद होते हैं जो कि एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोसोमल डीएनए है पाइली आर द एक्सटेंशंस ऑफ प्लाज्मिट्स ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ बैक्टीरियल सेल इनका काम क्या है पाइली का दे आर स्टूडेंट्स एक्चुअली सेक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स they help in the transformation of genetic material from one bacterium to another during the process of conjugation okay no flagella flagella are small thread like structures and they actually help the bacteria in move these were the three components of bacterial structure students i have briefed you very superficially and in a simpler and easier language as i have repeatedly told you that i am proceeding in these lectures for abc's of microbiology abc's of pathology Thank you students Allah Hafiz